Hello, holy cow. Two weeks ago, I went deep drilling into Galut. When I released my deep drill video, it had already crept up to $10. But guess what? It went as high as $16.59 last Friday before pulling back to end last week at $15. What has sparked this 50% rise? Will it continue to edge up? And what do I see coming in the build up to next week's potential explosive meteoric show stopping fourth quarter? quarter 2020 earnings call. Let's talk about that and more. Stay tuned. For those of you new to the channel, I am The Simple Trader. I share with you explosive stocks that I am buying, looking to buy, or already have sitting in my freedom portfolio. I am not a financial advisor, so please understand, this is all for entertainment only. Full disclosure, and I'm not flexing here, I started a position in Galat at $9, but the more drilling I do, the more excited I become. This for me is a winning company and hugely undervalued, meaning it's easy money. I have not coined this phrase on a stock since Nordstrom back in October last year. But unlike Nordstrom, Gillart for me is a long hold with exponential potential and I'm expecting this to explode to Pluto. I want to be transparent with you and I'm letting you know right now that this may become my largest position within my portfolio, especially if it gets into the coming Cathy Wood Arc X ETF. No more plugging. Let's start drilling. Okay, let's get the technicals out of the way. The price action has simply been huge. If we look at the charts, we see an exponential move up that began at the start of the year where it gapped up from $7 to $10 within four trading sessions. This was followed by another massive gap up to $11 where the last consolidating zone lasted around six trading sessions only. Then we see the exponential jump up from $12 all the way to an intraday high of $16.59 before ending last week at $15. So in 15 trading sessions, it has increased from $7 all the way to $15, representing more than 2x return if you caught the highs and lows. We can also see the volume has increased significantly and has not let up. Currently, I still think though, this stock is flying under the radar and there's not too much noise or hype at all surrounding this stock. Maybe because this stock is not trendy enough but that's good for me. The last thing I want as a long-term investor is for the stock to go completely parabolic. A steady uptrend to where I believe the stock should be valued at is the best case scenario and we will go over my long-term projections in the latter segments of this video. Un Unbelievable. As I'm recording this video, the stock is already up 11% and is close to hitting $17. Oh my god. If you watch my first video, you're probably scratching your head and wondering why I'm now calling them Gilat and not Gilat. Well, for me, there's no more room for complacency and this company deserves respect. Rise of the guilt is coming. Okay, so what initially sparked my interest in Gilat was they were the number one ARK Invest holding in their ARK Israeli ETF. Although initially skeptical, I found the more I drilled into Gilat, the more I just could not justify not investing into this company. Okay, so when I uploaded my first video on the 24th of January, it somehow coincided with ARK Invest rebalancing this ETF. Oh my god. And we saw that Gilat fell to third position and the ARK holding went from 500 178,000 shares to 320,000 shares, meaning they sold off 44% of their holdings in Gilat. Now, there is a reason for this as they went from 45 holdings to 62 on that one day, meaning they had to sell some positions in order to start the new ones. I was not overly concerned with this as Gilat was still number three, which showed me ARK Invest still had strong conviction in this stock. Now, guess what? As of today, ARK Invest Israeli ETF have 359,000 shares, meaning they have bought back close to 30,000 shares of Gilad. And more importantly, Gilad is back at the number one position on the Israeli 
ETF. If this isn't strong conviction, then I don't know what is. The institutional holdings, according to Fintel, is at 37%, which seems to have gone up significantly from when I last checked. This, to me, seems like stealth plays by the smart money. We see big players such as Morgan Stanley, Vanguard, Goldman Sachs, and of course, ARK Invest. What makes me sick is just looking at the $5.91 average price that these institutions somehow managed to get in on. If you watched my previous video on Guy Lart, you you would know that the list of contracts Gilart won in the fourth quarter and in January was so long that it would have been quicker for you to watch paint dry than to listen to me rambling on. So sit tight and trust me, the coming list is nowhere near as long since it's only been two weeks, right? Okay, jokes aside, on the 21st of January, Gilart announces that ESA technology has achieved proof of concept and it successfully demonstrated this and its technology over in Marsat's Global Express. This was a live demonstration of an ESA terminal on an Inmarsat operational GX satellite. Who are Inmarsat? Inmarsat is a British satellite telecommunications company offering global mobile services. It provides telephone and data services to users worldwide via portable or mobile terminals which communicate with ground stations through 13 geostationary telecommunications satellites. This is big for further collaboration and services that can now be offered up to the commercial world. It's basically a cash cow in the making. On the 1st of February, Guy Lott announces a contract with a potential $50 million value to supply Wavestream's gateway solid state power amplifiers for low earth orbit constellation. The contract seems to be confidential, so no name has been provided, but we do know it is with a leading satellite operator. Now, Wavestream, as I touched on in my previous video, is a subsidiary of Guy Lott and were acquired by Guy Lott back in 2010 for a massive $130 million, which is a huge sum of money back over 10 years ago. Like Gilart, Wavestream is seemingly expanding and growing exponentially too in recent months, and I expect more big things to come from them. Finally, on the 4th of February, Gilart announces that Corpac have awarded them a multi-million dollar contract to provide mission-critical telecom systems for Peru's airports. Holy smokes. This is a gigantic win as it includes 29 of Peru's airports which are run by Corpac, the Peruvian Corporation of Commercial Airports and Aviation. And this is what catches my attention and I quote from the press release, this project will open the door to additional large deals as we intend to deliver upon our strategy of significantly increasing business in Peru, end quote. We should also note that Guy Lutt are already delivering internet to thousands of people in Peru already. Okay, I don't want to come across as being uber biased since I have a position and interest in Gilat, but I really can't see the Gilat train slowing down based on news like this. Please let me know what your thoughts are moving forward with Gilat. I would love to hear from you, especially if you have a bearish case. Finally, check this infographic out recently released on Gilat's Twitter. Do pause the video if you need to review their current global customers, which is just sickening. Okay, so I found an interesting and highly respected sector magazine, which Guy Lott was featured in their year in review December 2020 edition. Reading this makes me ridiculously bullish, so do take this with a grain of salt. What stands out for me is the section on Guy Lott's market leadership in cellular backhaul over satellite. Guy Lott has a whopping 44% market share in mode them shipments according to a report by industry analyst NSR. On top of this, they have over 80% market share in satellite backhaul for 4G LTE installations worldwide. And this superiority is even furthered by impressive 5G technical achievements. That to me sounds like Guy Lutt is monopolizing the market and I love to invest in monopolies. To provide you with some context if you haven't seen my previous video, the 5G market according to many sources and research houses 
services is already a multi-billion dollar industry which is set to further explode. According to Allied Research, this will grow into a mind-bending $667 billion potential market by 2026. With we'll check this, the Asia-Pacific region contributing the most growth by growing to $329 billion by 2026. Guess what? Key lots already have strong footholds here, such as in the Philippines where they are working with the largest mobile network operator. So, in my first video, I predicted a mid-February price target of $10 to $15. This has absolutely been crushed and I have serious egg on face, but in a good way of course. So I'm gonna have to revise that. And now I think we'll be close to $18 to $20 by next week, leading up to the fourth quarter earnings call on next Tuesday. Now, here is where I'm literally forced to up my price target. I think the fourth quarter earnings may be so explosive that it's gonna be uncontainable and we could see the stock jump anywhere between 20 to 40 percent in one day that puts my price target on earnings at around 25 dollars already and providing the fourth quarter results are that explosive it could put Gilart into the limelight I'm expecting the volume to pick up drastically but what I'm looking forward to the most is the launch of Kathy Wood and Ark Invest Ark X ETF at the end end of March. And if, and this is a small if, if Gilat is added to ARCX in a superior position, such as within the top 10 holdings, then oh me oh my. <laughs> I think Gilat will blow up and I'm seeing $40 as a realistic price target for end April. I just can't believe it. At the time of putting this together, it's just keep going up and up and up and up. And what on earth is going on? It's gone past 17. We have broken $17. There is no end in sight to this madness. I am speculating a lot, but in piecing this together and based on the fundamentals going forward, I really see this as a winning play. So at the very least, do me a favor and take a closer look at this stock for yourself. I'd love to hear from you if you strongly disagree, and I'd love to hear the reasons for it. Please note that all the companies like this comes with risks and factor in that we have just seen it more than 2x in literally a few months. One of the risks I did mention in my previous video still stands true and that is I do see it pulling a nano dimension on us. But as we have seen with nano dimension, all the other stocks like Neo and Pack B, who have done dilutions recently, their stock price just goes back up and then some. So in fact, I'd love me some dilution so I can instantly buy the dip. Thank you for watching. And remember again that I do have a position in Gilat that will be set to increase very soon. So do take my analysis with precaution. Do your own due diligence and speak to a professional before you look to invest any of your money. The purpose of my channel is purely to share my deep drills on stocks I want to buy or already have bought, which may help you make some educated investment moves going forward. If you are interested in other huge growth stocks that I have in my portfolio, please check out my other videos or my recent video where I discussed my portfolio. For more huge growth stock picks, analysis and updates, please stay tuned and consider, go on, consider subscribing to my channel so you can get all the information first. I am the simple trader. I tried really hard to keep this simple and will simply see you next time.